Okay, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set up some budgets in our project and we're going to compare the budgets for staff, equipment, catering and venue against what these resources actually cost. Now I've set up these resources as normal, the ones in uh, normal uh, sentence case, uh, but these ones in capital letters are actually going to be my budget resources. Now to convert these to budget resources all you do is double click on the, task, uh, the resource click on this little budget checkbox. I'm just going to do that for each of my budgets. And then what I've got to do is assign these budget resources to the project summary task. Pretty easy to do that. I'll just go through, change my view to my Gantt chart view. Now there's my project summary task. If you don't know how to show that, that's on the format tab project summary task, that little checkbox there. And I'm going to assign those resources. So resources, assign resources. There's my um, budget resources. See how useful it is to have them in a different case or something, something to dis distinguish them from the others. Uh, click on OK. Right, so they're assigned to that um, project summary task. Now back to our resource sheet. What I need to do is some way link these resources to these different categories here. And one way of doing that would be to set up a custom field. So right click up there, add new column, custom fields, and let's rename this budget category. What would be nice is to have a sort of lookup really for staff equipment patron or venue. So if I click on lookup, say staff uh, equipment and catering venue uh, click on close and uh, what I want to do is roll down and less manually into calculations for assignment rows so you'll see that later on in the resource usage view that we're going to use later on how that affects that click on OK now what I want to do is then insert that new column that I've just created. So right click on that new column, insert column. Somewhere in this list is my budget category field. There we are. Um, and you can see that I've actually uh, previously assigned uh, the correct category. But you basically from that drop down list choose which category you are assigning to each of these um, resources. Make sure you also assign the correct resource to uh, the correct category to your budget resources. Otherwise this whole thing will not work. It's just a matter of selecting from the drop down list. Now what we're going to do next is go to our resource usage view. Now uh, what I've done here is I've actually inserted uh, budget cost, budget work, as well as the cost field. Now to insert any field, uh, you just right click on an existing field, insert column and find uh, the field that you want. But just for uh, quickness and brevity here, I've already inserted those columns. So you've got budget cost, budget work, cost and work. Now we've got all your different uh, resources and down at the bottom here we've also got our budget resources. Now what I'm going to do is actually put in my budget for these different categories here. So for example for the staff, because it's a work resource I've got to put it in as hours. So I'll say 30 hours is what I'm budgeting for. Um, software, uh, uh, sorry, equipment I'm going to put down 5,000. It's a cost resource so I can put in a, uh, a monetary figure. Um, for the catering, I'm budgeting for 500. For the software upgrade, I'm uh, sorry, for the venue, I'm budgeting for 600. Now, what I want to be able to do is group these costs and works by that little budget category um, field that I created earlier on. So I'm going to go to my view tab and I'm going to go to this group by drop down. I'm going to say new group by 
and then I want to choose the field that I previously created. So somewhere down here, there we go, budget category text one, click on apply. And what that has done is basically grouped the different resources under the budget category that I've given. And we've now got the budget cost there against what uh, the catering resources are going to combined cost. So you can see that I've got an overspend here uh, with equipment. Budget cost is 5000 The actual cost is 4650 so I've underspent there. Staff was 30 hours, actually it's 30.67 hours, um, and the venue, that was dead right. Okay, um, okay. so that was uh, how to uh, create a budget in project and compare um, the costs in your project against what you budgeted for.